Hi everyone, very good morning. So today we are going to practice day 6. In this video, we have done little bit of a warm up for the hip joint, for the spine and little bit for the core strengthening. So without any further delay, let's get started. I hope you are all feeling better and comfortable to start the session. So stand in the center of the mat, keep your shoulders wide, drop your entire body weight on the floor with the help of your heels. Now close your eyes, open up your arms. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Take a longer breath in, longer breath in. And exhale slowly. Now slowly open your eyes. Now just feel relaxed, come back to a normal state. Now, keep your both the legs a little hip width apart. Interlock your fingers, stretch your hands out. Now you're going to turn to the right and left. When you turn to the right and left, especially when you turn to the right, lift your left heel up. When you turn to the left, lift your right heel up. It will help you to move both the sides comfortably. Let's do this 10 times right and left. Simple movement. Keep moving accordingly and if you think you can go a little more behind, you can do that. It will not be a jerky movement, it's just a very simple movement a controlled movement to give a stretch how much ever you can and how much ever you need. Come back to center. Lift your hand up straight, inhale, tuck your tummy in. Lengthen your spine. Now exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. Center. Right, left, right, it might look very easy just to see, but if you are practicing with the right alignment without tilting forward, you can feel so much of stretch, especially engage your stomach. When you move to the right, it will not help you fall. It will help you to stay up and will give you a better balance. One more time. Center. Other side. Come back to center. <sighs> Exhale, relax. Can you feel your sides a little bit nicely stretched? Okay. Now, keep your legs a little more wider. <coughs> Take your hands forward. Give a gentle wrist rotation. Very slow, easy. Focusing on moving your wrist. There is one way of doing a wrist warm up. This for the sake. One more is actually moving your wrist where you feel some difference. So try to go for the second one where you feel some difference. Now lift your both the hands straight shoulder level. Now exhale bend forward. Try to touch your right leg to the left toe. Come back to center. Other side. Open up your shoulder out, whichever hand is outside. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Open up your shoulder. Inhale up. Let's do this three more sets. So when you go down, you have to open up your chest. One is just going, staying there. Only if you are comfortable, let's do that. Okay, three times back to back. Exhale down. Center. 
exhale down two more times one more time drop your hands down relax your shoulders so now what you need to do is if you are standing here comfortably that's good if you can stretch your leg one more step outside being comfortable you should make sure that you are not struggling or you are not falling down so suppose i'm here comfortable if you're in this stage then you can expand your leg little more hands on your waist exhale bend forward take your hands forward because the more you keep your legs wider it's easy to reach the floor now get your front leg 90 degree so just you have to move your right leg stay here try to push your hip back try to get your knee and ankle in one line and just feel the stretch in the hamstring one come back to center now bend your knee again just see the alignment knee and ankle should be in one line 90 degree push your hip back feel the stretch from your inner thigh to the hamstring center right side again if you don't push your hip back then you won't feel the stretch which i am trying to give you here so it's just not bending your knee at the same time you have to push your hip back center other side center last one more time we are going to hold in this asan in this posture for at least 5 counts if you want to make it challenging you can be here you can be here okay choose whichever works well for you Five, four, three, two, one. You can feel your thigh. Definitely, I'm sure you can feel your thigh. Other side. Five, four, three. Two, one. Drop your hand. Come back to center. Now slowly bend your knee. Get your both the legs together. Relax. Because if you're doing it properly, you would feel so much stretch in your hamstring, inner thigh. I'm sure you will enjoy this. Now slowly drop your knee down. Keep your right knee on the ground. Extend your left leg out. parighasan now from here drop your both the hands right in front of the knee now right leg is bent right and left both the hands are here but i am going to move my right hand all the way out and exhale i would try to reach my ankle this is an amazing stretch for the back pain to strengthen your back let's do this five times inhale out exhale down inhale out exhale down inhale up exhale down go slow don't be in a hurry to complete this movement fourth one inhale up exhale down one more inhale up exhale down stay here for few seconds come back to center 
now from here see if you can drop your elbows down and see how much you can take your leg forward make sure that you are comfortable you can drop your hip down on the heel on the knee keep your knee down keep your hip on the heel drop your hands down take your leg out hold inhale and exhale Five, four, three, two, one. Now, take your elbow a little forward, just a little bit more space from the knee. Now, lift your knee up, drop your hip down on the heel. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, last one, down, come back to center. Okay, that was quite a deep stretch in one side. As I told you, how much you'll feel the stretch depends on your own posture. There is always space. You can keep stretching throughout. You can keep stretching and stop wherever you feel like you're feeling good, you're feeling enough stretch and you're going to enjoy the stretch. If you want to feel more, keep stretching little more till your body says done okay but you should know what is the limit where to stop and where to overdo it never overdo it stop wherever your body is asking you to stop okay that was a small tip meanwhile you were relaxing now let's move to the other side we have done the stretch for one side now we are going to repeat the same thing the opposite side stretch your one leg out for parighasan you cannot stretch beyond because knee and hip joint need to be in one line. So just try to maintain this alignment. Keep your leg outside. Your left knee is bent. Your right leg is on right hand is on the floor. You're going to move your left hand all the way out. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale down, two more, inhale, exhale, you can bend your elbow how much ever you want to get yourself comfortable, hold. come back to center now time to stretch slightly more than your comfort zone if you think you're here you can take your step one leg forward you can take it back and drop your elbows down and slowly try dropping your hip down on the heel and hold take your elbow slightly ahead now forward back forward back forward back forward back one more time forward back slowly come back on your palm slowly get your knee inside now if you're wondering as a beginner how can I do so much of stretch then it's very simple so much parikasan is easy for anyone and from here you can also go and give this stretch if you think you have capacity only then you stretch little more so the distance is based on your capacity otherwise asana is very easy now once you get your both the legs together Relax a little bit in Vajrasana, spine straight, close your eyes. It's important to take a small break in between and relax your thighs. If you don't feel comfortable sitting on Vajrasana, you can change the posture to Sukhasana also. Ultimately, the intention is just to give some rest to the legs and your body before we start 
the next movements just breathe in breathe out please keep your eyes closed that will help you to relax faster slow down your breath now slowly open your eyes get back on the mat try to sit down on the floor on the mat keep your both the knees bent now so when you keep your knee bent your body should be your lower body should be in a v shape so your knee in center your ankle and your hip is apart from each other keep your both the palm facing inside now so sometime i have seen people are not very comfortable keeping your palm inside if you think keeping your palm outside is comfortable for you based on your body alignment please free you are free to do that so keep your palm whichever way you are comfortable but keep your shoulders wide try to keep your spine straight as you inhale you are going to lift your hip up trying to keep your spine in one straight line look back exhale drop your hip down let's repeat it few times inhale up very slowly so that you can push your spine all the way up look back exhale come down inhale up exhale down now let's add a small variation to this once you lift your hip up look back breathe in breathe out slowly drop your hip down keep your spine slightly tilted towards the back try to lift your both the legs up do not leave the floor be connected to the floor with the help of yoga mat just be here engage your core exhale drop your heels down inhale lift your hip up exhale drop your hip down keep your spine little tilted lift your legs up one more time breathe in breathe out prepare yourself inhale up let's try to hold here for 5 breaths 5 4 Three, two, one. Slowly drop your hip down. I'm sure you can already feel your shoulders here. Keep your shoulders a bit relaxed. Tilt your back. Now engage your entire body with the help of your stomach. Engage your core. Hold here. If you want to make it challenging, you can keep your both the hands here. If you want to make it easier. as a beginner level hold here 5 4 3 2 one slowly drop your heels down cross your both the legs keep your spine straight inhale as you exhale drop your elbows down just adjust your lower back look forward eyes closed you can take your hands one more step forward if you want to give a little more deep stretch come back to center get your both the legs forward <coughs> now lift your toe up try to hold your big toe from your both the hands now you can see my spine is being rounded right try to keep your spine up or at least give a try i am not saying like all of us can keep a spine super straight in the beginning you might find it little hard in that case keep your spine straight how much ever you are able to 
and then slowly get your leg forward one step ahead lengthen your back any posture can make it feel difficult in its own way if i sit here for so long i can feel my spine same time if i sit here like this i can stay for like 5 more minutes i wouldn't feel so difficult so try to make it challenging even if you're staying for 20 seconds 10 seconds 5 seconds make it challenging make it in such a way that you're following all the alignments one more step forward spine straight inhale one more step forward one more step forward so wherever you feel you are comfortable in these three steps you can just hold close your eyes five four three two one slowly inhale lift your hands up straight exhale drop your hands down now bend your right leg and try to keep your right leg crossing your left knee outside try to maintain your spine in a straight line keep your right hand behind the spine with the help of your left hand try to push your knee in look outside <coughs> inhale exhale come back to center let's try the same thing the other side cross your leg left hand goes behind with the help of your right leg sorry right hand push your knee out eyes closed breathe in breathe out 3 2 1 slowly release come back to center now let's practice naka chalan try to go little forward closer to the mat because doing the process of this movement you will end up coming behind now drop your both the hands down you're going to exhale inhale you're going to go back as close as possible to the floor but don't fall down what is holding you to stay up it is your core strength you are going to use your stomach which will help you to stay up not really fall down on the ground let's do this five times really slow clockwise and anti clockwise exhale down very slowly make it challenging hold 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 exhale down inhale hold inhale exhale you are holding the posture not the breath exhale down inhale exhale inhale 3 2 hold four last one five exhale inhale the last one try to hold here for five counts just see how far can you really get closer but yet you hold yourself up 5 4 3 2 1 
टू वन एक्सेल नाउ यू कैन राउंड योर शोल्डर राउंड योर स्पाइन रिलैक्स हियर वी आर डन विथ वन साइड ऑफ द सर्कल नाउ यू कैन ट्राई द सेम थिंग द अदर साइड वी हैव डन गोइंग डाउन टू अप नाउ यू गोन गो अप एंड डाउन लेट्स ट्राई इन हेल एक्सेल स्लो डाउन एंगेज योर कोर एक्सेल स्लो डाउन योर मूवमेंट यू कीपिंग योर स्पाइन राउंडेड सो इट वुड एंड हर्ट यू even if you have back pain this is fine because you are rounding your spine it is in a comfortable posture exhale inhale exhale inhale one more time sorry two more times now the last one exhale Inhale, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and come forward. Relax. Fold your both the legs. Keep your both the hands behind. Relax your spine. You can arch your back if you want. look up breathe in breathe out now come back to center extend and drop your head down now stretch your legs forward lay down on your back keep your both the knees bent turn your palm towards the floor now we are going to practice setu bandhasan and pavan muktasan one after another it's good for the spine as well as for the digestion both from here you're going to lift your spine all the way up focus on lifting your thighs up and engaging your glutes your hip exhale down inhale lift your knee up exhale for head to the knee inhale down exhale drop your hands legs down inhale hip up try to maintain this flow of your breath when you staying in the asana just try to breathe normally hip down pavan muktasan setu bandhasan lift your forehead to the knee setu bandhasan knee to the chest last one more time where we'll try to hold in each posture for at least 5 counts palm facing down lift your hip all the way up round your back 
stay there five four eyes closed give your maximum stretch your body would want to come back but then try to hold yourself up three two one now drop your hip down <coughs> bend your knee to the chest exhale for it to the knee Slowly drop your knee down. Just relax here for a few seconds. <coughs> now stretch your both the legs out. You're gonna bend your right knee to the chest. Hold your knee from your both the hands. Keep getting it closer to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Now lift your forehead to the knee. Eka Pada Pavan Muktasan. Drop your head down. Now, your right knee is bent. Open up your right hand to shoulder level. With the help of your left hand, keep pulling your pushing your knee to outside. It is not necessary that your knee should touch the ground. It is a complete asana, but based on if you are comfortable doing this. So keep pushing it out how much ever you can. Look outside and hold. Slowly come back to center and release. Bend your left knee to the chest. Open up your left hand outside. Push your knee to the other, other way. And remember the alignment of your shoulder. It has to be on the ground. Come back to center. Now release. Bend your both the knee to the chest. Keep your both the knee into Supta Baddha Konasan. Place your hands on your thighs. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Keep your eyes closed, just breathe in, breathe out. Try to drop your hip joint completely relaxed. Now slowly get your both the legs together. Now try to bend your right knee to the chest. Try to hold your big toe from your first three fingers. Okay, so now keep your one leg bent, that itself will make it, this posture much easier for you. Now from here, see if you can slowly stretch it out. If you think this is the maximum capacity and you can feel enough stretch here, you're gonna hold. If you can go further, slowly keep stretching it out. How much ever you can. Now slowly bend your knee to the chest. Stretch it out. Knee to the chest. 
stretch it out knee to the stretch stretch it out and then slowly release let's do the same thing the other side just because i'm sure a few of you might be able to do it easily and some of you might find it hard it doesn't mean that you cannot get any flexibility any further it just mean that you need to practice more so try to be on the mat every single day and you can see the magic happening within a month or two you don't need lot of time to see the results you just need to have a commitment to it yourself and keep practicing now bend your knee now slowly stretch it out and bend your knee to the chest stretch it out relax try to stretch it up and down stretch it up and down let's do this one more time and relax now let's do the last asan for the day happy baby posture ananda balasan bend your both the knee to the chest keep your both the knee apart from each other and make sure that your knee and your heel should be in one straight line hold your big toe from your both the hands now you need to get your heel an ankle just above the knee and keep pressing your knee inside and hold you can keep pressing your knee towards the floor close your eyes long breath in long breath out now slowly open your eyes tilt to the right and left controlled movements to the right and left now slowly get your both the knee to the chest and stretch your legs out in shavasan try dropping your complete body weight down keep your eyes closed let your stomach and your chest move more comfortably relax your forehead relax your shoulders arms elbow wrist any time i take a name of the part of the body you just have to pay attention to the part of the body paying attention itself will help you relax yourself pay attention to the hip joint lower back now take your awareness to the nostril observe your inhalation and exhalation see the temperature dis- difference when you inhale and exhale exhale is slightly more warmer than the inhalation now slowly get your both the legs together interlock your fingers stretch your hands up bend your both the knee and then slowly turn towards your side and sit back into vajrasana keep your eyes closed keep your spine straight both the hands in chin mudra keep your spine super straight relax your forehead 
take a long breath in take one more breath on top of that exhale from your mouth inhale with two breaths long breath in one more exhale from the mouth inhale long breath one more exhale from mouth one more time inhale one more exhale from mouth keep your breath normal now slowly get your both the palm together rub your both the palm drop it on your eyes and face open your eyes and look into your palm thank you so much i hope you feel much better and your mind and the state of your mind and body is much better now please drop it in a comment box about your experience of today's session and i'll see you tomorrow with a new session thank you so much